How's everyone? This is James Dry. is going to bring you another video today. Today I'm just going to do kind of like a journal or a vlog on being a vegan for a year. About a year ago I decided to change my whole lifestyle to drop the animal products out of my life. I used to be a big chicken eater. I used to drink the milk and I used to do all that jazz. Just be regular regular person that ate, you know, whatever he wanted. Um, but over a year ago, I decided to go vegan. And I decided to see how my body would change and react to that and see if it could possibly benefit me. Because I did notice that milk did not work well with my body. Dairy did not, you know, for a lot of people, people can't do milk because they're lactose intolerant. I think a lot of people are lactose intolerant and in that they don't really know it, but I think they show the signs of how their body works when they drink dairy. So the only thing I really had to cut off was meat. I, since I didn't really do milk, very rarely I did milk, maybe on you know a few slices of cheese here and there, but I just never really did it because I knew it would hurt my joints. If I did, you know, go hardcore into milks and stuff like that. So, my biz my biggest obstacle was to drop meat, but I did that. You know, I had the willpower and I had the determination that I really wanted to change in my life. You know, it was, I wanted to start something new. I've been eating chicken and all that jazz for 25 years. I'm 26 now. I dropped meat about a year ago. So I decided to take that cha that change. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. In the beginning, it was, because then you have to do all the research on how you're going to get your proteins, and how you're going to get your energy and stuff like that. But just dropping meat wasn't so hard for me. Um, as far as my body went, from that tra from that transition of being a meat eater to being a non meat eater. <laughs> It was like a decline. There was definitely a change in my body on how it was going to, you know, bounce back from that. From, you know, getting my protein that I needed from whether it be seeds, pea protein, which one I really love, veggies, uh, potatoes. You know, just whole foods have a lot of protein in them, but people just overlook it. So I definitely had to go through a transition period where I had to balance out that all out so my body would you know bounce back to where I wanted it to be and to actually further it and become stronger than I was when I was a meat eater and that was a challenge in itself and it was all about experimenting over this past year I have learned a lot about what my body needs and that how it reacts to certain foods it's crazy once you listen to your body once you change something you know take something out how well you're connected to your body how well you listen to it you notice that you're not supposed to feel like shit when you eat something <laughs> but when you do eat that thing you notice how crappy you feel after you know you break you maybe you break your diet or you know break your lifestyle and you eat like some cheese or you know eat some meat from being a vegan for so long or you notice something. You notice that how the difference in your body, how your body, you know, you feel and feel off it. How your energy levels change from that. So that's one great thing that I've noticed amongst other things of how my body reacts to certain foods and the lifestyle I've uh, come accustomed to. Because if I notice, if I you know, if I eat a cheat meal or something, I know what I'm not supposed to do, like. Um, I've recently noticed that gluten does not work for me at all. <laughs> but when I was but a few months ago was when I decided to cut gluten out of my diet, try it out and see how I felt. And I did and I felt amazing. I went to sweet potatoes as my main carb source and I felt great off it. I, I definitely recommend organic sweet potatoes in your diet if you're trying to you know cut the gluten out of your diet and you're vegan or whatever or anybody to go sweet potatoes over 
you know, wheat. <laughs> and just recently, um, me and my friends went up to a place called Mellow Mushroom and they have pizzas there. And they do have gluten free crust, and I did have it before, but this, the portion was a little bit smaller, and I could have got a bigger version for the same price, some more food, you know, for, you know, more food or less food for the same price. What are you going to choose? Well, I felt like poop right after I ate that uh, gluten, you know, crusted pizza. So I learned from that. I, you know, I, was, I knew I, I would probably feel like crap when I ate it, but just the feeling afterwards, I knew I couldn't really do gluten anymore. Especially on that large portion of, you know, pizza, like gluten is going to make you feel heavy and feel like a crappy bloated pizza, basically. <laughs> So I definitely noticed some things on the way, and I I ventured into like proteins. I went through um, many plant-based proteins, like brown rice protein. Um, what other ones they have? Brown rice. I know pea protein is a big one too. Those are my the two that I really experimented on, and or the two ones that are probably big out in the market right now is pea protein and brown rice proteins. Um, I noticed that brown rice made me feel heavy from just eating brown rice it made me feel heavy so that translates into the into that protein product you know brown rice proteins it's, it's gonna make you feel heavy make you feel lethargic I thought until I really dove into pea protein and that made me feel amazing <laughs> made me feel energized made me feel light didn't have the heavy weight on my stomach when I drank it because, you know, it's a heavy grain, rice is, you know, versus a pea, which is a, you know, light vegetable. And so that is a protein was ultimately the best one that I recommend and what I've recommended to all of you guys through my recent videos where I did, um, I think it was Sun Warrior versus, uh, what was that one? Sun Warrior versus raw protein. Some more was the pea protein brand, the pea protein that they do uh, give out. They have. So there's a lot of things that I've learned al along the way in this past year, and I will continue to learn and continue to contribute to my lifestyle. But what ultimately happened was there's a transition period, probably about a month or two, where my body was going through a phase of you know transitioning, and I lost a couple. I lost a lot of weight probably around like 10 pounds when I transitioned off meat and went into the vegan I lost probably 10 pounds from that but I've gained it all back <sighs> I've gained it all back I feel stronger than ever from when I was about a year ago when I decided to make that change um, my body has definitely looked better. I feel more ripped. I look less puffy. I feel like you could really notice a person whether they're a meat eater or they're a vegan. Um, meat eaters usually look more puffy if they're, you know, not cutting as bodybuilding terms, you know, not cutting, you know, cutting the calories down. You really tell a person that eats meat and you usually smell them as well. Um, when I used to eat meat, my armpits always, you know, stank. <laughs> stank um, but now you know I, not being a meteor I don't usually have to wear deodorant it's just what you eat is what you are so if you eat a lot of meat you're just gonna you know reek of that meat that you just consumed so yeah so there I'm a, so if any of you guys are thinking about being a vegan just you know really research it Watch a couple of videos that I've gave. I definitely recommend pea protein as a uh, protein substitute, as long as, as long as well as I can't talk today. Um, sunflower seeds and um, pumpkin seeds as well, as well as a lot of leafy greens and uh, sweet potatoes as well. I can't do nuts personally. That's another uh, fault in my diet. I usually get really dry skin or dry patches on my face when I eat almonds, peanuts, coconut, stuff like that. If I eat it in like a large amount, I can do like a little bit here and there, but I can't like, you know, go through a whole jar of almond butter, or go through a whole, whole jug of 
almond milk. It affects me in that way, so I try to stay clear away from it, but you can still survive off seeds, so chia seeds and stuff like that. That's really helped me and created my body just the way I really wanted it to be. So yeah, this so this journey, this whole year has been a definite ex experience on my body, and it's made me feel more grounded to the earth, it's made me really listen to my body. Rather than the past where I was just stuffing food my, down my mouth, just, you know, I was just going whether it's healthy or not. And not really focusing on how my body felt and how my body could feel if I ate better and if I dropped meat. This is not a video telling you that you should go vegan, that you have to. It's just a video telling that maybe you should take a chance and go try it. Maybe for a few weeks, a month. And see how you feel. Just listen to your body and see how your body reacts to it. Just do the research. If you do want to do, choose a, a substitute for the proteins if you work out a lot, especially you need a lot of proteins if you do, I recommend pea protein, but just try it out. Experiment. This is all an experiment to yourself. Just make sure you're getting the right amount of calories, the right kind of nutrition, a lot of leafy greens and stuff like that in your diet. Eat healthy if you do decide to go vegan. Just don't drop cheese and meat and just eat like potato fries all day or something like that. You know, get get that nutrition in your body that you need. So do that research. See what you need in your diet. And do it. Just try it out. And see physically how you feel see how your body reacts to that food and then if you do decide to transition back you know, to eating meat to eating dairy see how your body feels because I think once you take a break from it and if you do decide to go back to it you'll actually feel the difference you start to really listen to your body and see how you really react to that food that you consume so that's been Probably the biggest part over this past year on how I'm able to listen to my body better and to really, you know, feel what I eat and whether it energizes me or it makes me feel lethargic. Also, dropping gluten was a big part of it as well. So that's definitely benefited me, benefited me through this past few months that I've decided to drop gluten out of my diet. But yeah, don't be afraid to try something new, even if it's for a few weeks or a few months. Just try it. What do we have to lose? Nothing. I've been a vegan for a year, and I've loved it. Uh, the gains I've seen in my body have been amazing, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. So I definitely see the gains. Bam. Look at that. A vegan muscle. Wow. No steroids. No meat. No animal products, all just plant-based, live foods, raw. So that's been my journey over this past year. I'll see where this next year takes me. I'm sure I'll learn a lot more. And that's what I definitely recommend to you guys. Keep learning, keep researching, and keep seeing what works for you. This has been James Rice. Stay risen. Until next time. Peace.